you get to a point where it's only so much more studying you can do you gotta take the test hey y'all what is up welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is gabby if you're new here so i am about to do my hair i was thinking about some things as i was about to start um, doing my hair so i figured why not just record uh i want to show up in everywhere that i can i have been planning on taking youtube the app off of my phone because my screen time <laughs> has been crazy high and it's been high uh, mostly because of youtube i have certain apps that i click you know how your phone shows you apps that you use on your first pickup it's always my email youtube youtube studio and i'm just not okay with that so i really wanted to stop that connection going on in my brain and stop thinking every time i pick up my phone i need to open these certain apps it's got to the point especially with youtube that i will open up these apps when i first get up in the morning not when i first get up in the morning but it'll be the first app i open when i pick up my phone and it's almost like when i finish spending time with god in the morning praying and reading and everything i'd be so ready to jump on youtube so ready to jump on youtube studio to see what's going on and a lot of times there's really not much there i, I just don't like it like i just don't like what it's become <laughs> and i just know i need to take it off my phone one of the times i like to listen to youtube or watch youtube is when i'm doing my hair it takes me about 45 minutes but i've been having problems lately with finding videos that I want to watch like I did today. But so I'm scrolling and YouTube is showing me recommending all these videos to these people. I'm not even subscribed, which is cool. You know, I like that too. But it got to where YouTube don't even right away be showing me the people I'm subscribed to. So I'll be having to clear my history to see the people I'm actually subscribed to. So I was sitting thinking, I'm like, dang, I can't find any videos I wanna watch. It's like scarce out there for me and it's been like this for weeks. Y'all, and I would just scroll. When you are in a period where you're trying to level up, glow up, transform, whatever you wanna call it, whatever specifically you're trying to do, go deep, grow. You have to have a period of where you're learning, where you need to figure out what the problem is, what you need to do, where you need to go, how you need to set things up, and, and that sort of thing. And I realized today when I was having trouble finding a video to do my hair that I'm in my doing season. There's this YouTuber that I like to watch. I don't think, like I was saying in my spiritual woman video, I don't think she's a believer. You feel me? But she talks about the mind you know and the body and and that type of stuff those things are important like when it comes to transforming i deeply believe that we need god and that we need jesus you know there are just some things that you cannot do without the spirit the father and the son you know but then there are some things that are still important to know about how our brain works how our body works and things along that line and in that nature and i i, I rock with it you know, I've, I've learned a lot from her and the way she speaks about things. It's just got to a point where her content is just, even though I like her content so much, I already know or have experience with so many things that she's already said. I've learned things from what she's already said. And when you really think about it, videos by other people, like even my videos right now, you know, when y'all watch, it's all third party content. We're the middlemen. It's like people lose the ability to go to God for themselves you know the bible says that we should go boldly before the lord and, and speak to him and i think some people just get so wrapped up in going to their pastor and going to somebody who has like this stronger bond at that time or a higher anointing that they don't know how to do these things for themselves we're just so used to a middleman like when it comes to god when it comes to the lord oh pray for me pray for me and we really need to be doing these things for ourselves and i just feel like i'm at that place where i have to go straight to the source i have to go straight to jesus i have to go straight to god i have to go straight into my word there's only so much that you can learn about something until it gets to the point where you have to actually do yeah we are really deep beings like we go really deep sometimes you know we don't even know that we're dealing with something or something is bothering us or troubling us until we get into a certain type of situation and then it boils over and then we can see that yeah that's true but that's the type of thing that you have to conquer when you get there 
or pray and ask God for revelation to reveal things to you that you cannot see so that you can deal with them and handle them before you get into that type of situation. That takes a certain type of knowledge though. Like I've shared before, I just felt like I had this really dark cloud just hovering over me. I never knew what it was. Like this was back in like 2016, 2017, 2018. Things didn't start getting revealed until I started getting put in certain situations for God to reveal them to me because I was feeling so low that I had to really look at myself. I had to live with it. I had to ask him. I had to pray to figure out what was going on with me. I had my oldest in 2016, but around 2017 is really when I started embarking on this journey of going in. It's not necessarily that I feel like I've learned everything I can learn. It's like for this next level that I'm about to enter, it's no longer about Gabby, what can you continue to take in? It's about what you can put out, what you will put out. And I used to think, oh man, like I'm angry because this person is doing this and this person is doing that. But when I really took time to really think about it, like Gabby, and this might sound a little crazy, but it, it really works. Like, especially when you don't have therapy and you're just working with God and you're working with yourself, you got to try your best to try to ask yourself tough questions that might take work to answer. Sometimes I get an answer right away. Sometimes I get an answer within a couple of minutes. Sometimes the answer doesn't come for weeks or for months. But it's just that act of asking that first question. So I asked myself, hmm, Gabby, when is the first time can, do you remember feeling mad? When is the first time that you remember feeling angry? And it took me back to my childhood when my daddy basically used to stand me up. Those are things that I consider other people and learning about other people and certain conditions and things like that stuff like that is important so that's what i'm saying i'm not in a place where i'm going to stop learning but more so in a place where i'm not seeking an epiphany or i'm not seeking a breakthrough or i'm not going into a certain type of video or something like that looking for an eye-opening concept or looking for just something you know what i'm saying at this level right now where god has revealed so much you need to move forward with what i gave you stop looking for more when i already gave you enough to hit the next level growing and being more like jesus and just being a, a free person a happy a healthy person it's not something that you just do and then you're done there's always going to be a new level of, of life you know whether that level is low or high like there's always going to be a new level there's always going to be something that happens or something that that changes you know seasons change trends change people come people go it's just so much you know and, and, and instead of getting all the answers or trying to reach a certain point of every single thing at one time sometimes you just have to go with what you got and then you want to hit that next level and then you can t continue to build on from where you're at. There is beauty in every day, but it takes a certain type of mindset to believe that, and a certain type of heart to even to to would even want to take something like that in. When you're upset, there can be so many other great things going around, but you're just not going to see those things because you're so focused on what's making you mad. I got sick of being like that. Because when you're allowing yourself to be and stay upset every time something goes wrong or something doesn't go your way, you'll be upset for a long time, especially when you're in a season where it's a time for you to grow, it's a time for you to be isolated, it's a time for you to learn hard lessons and people do you dirt and stuff like that like you'll just be sad or upset for or mad for who knows how long you think on it you chew on it you pray about it and then you need to start doing what you got to do to move forward there's so much out there that's good advice but it's good advice for people who just find themselves in a slump because at some point we get to a point where we're in a slump but when you've been slumping and bumping and just gliding and sliding through your whole life Ain't no video about how to change your life and transform your life in six months gonna help you. You talking about a lifetime 
of a certain mindset, a lifetime with a certain heart, a lifetime of being certain, treated a certain type of way and you just change in six months. I'm not saying that it's not possible. I believe that it's very possible. But is, is, is that the way it should be for you to get the most quality out of what you're trying to do? Are you really going to pick up all the messages that God is trying to get you to hear? Are they really going to set in within six months? Like, yeah, you can reach those goals. But a lot of people reach their goals and get after what they want with the wrong energy and intention behind it. Those weight loss videos were like, he didn't want me, so I became the woman that he couldn't have. Like, okay, good for you, sis. Like, you look amazing. But why was he the driver behind you wanting to do better for yourself? It's just like, that's awesome that you got there, you know? You got there. We just be letting people have too much power over, over us. And we just got to go back to the source and spend more time with ourselves and, like, do for ourselves. If you were the type to study for a test, like, you study, study. You get to a point where it's only so much more studying you can do. You got to take the test. I'm that type of person who likes to talk about the the plans talk about the future talk about the things that are going on right now to build that momentum to create that atmosphere yeah you know hype things up but i'm in this place right now where it's like i don't want to talk it's no talking we are about doing and we're about doing period let the action speak it's time we got that action because what everything around me when Come on! That is the anthem song. I gotta break the cycle. And I gotta do it now. That's it for now, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I love you so much. And peace and love. I'm out.